Hey guys, my name is John. I'm with WCI Consulting, and I'm going to show you about the new analytics feature on the line plots. So once you have a line plot already set up, go ahead and click on it, and then in the visualization field, you'll see this magnifying glass for analytics. Go ahead and click on that. Then you'll have all the different uh, types of lines that you can put in or superimpose it on top of this graph. Uh, let's say we're interested in a trend line. And for a trend line, you're going to need at least uh, two years worth of data for Power BI. Go ahead and add that. And it looks like there's a downward trend. But that's probably because we're still in 2016. So let's go ahead and filter that out. So dispatch date, year. is not 2016. There we go. So as we can see, there's still a downward trend for all the uh, for all the crimes, the number of crimes committed. We can even click on different types of crimes and see if those have been decreasing as well. Then another thing that we can do is we can add in an average line and this will just be the average over all these years, which looks like it's around 200,000. And then if we wanted to, we could add a min and a max line as well, or you could even specify a percentile line. So let's say we want the 90th percentile, and that's going to show us right here. So most crimes are definitely going to be under 22,000 per year. And then you can put the data labels on them, which will make it easier instead of guessing. And there you have it. That's how you can use the new analytics feature in Power BI. Thanks.